most important institutions in not only in Upper Assam but the whole of Assam who has been doing a lot for the education of the girls, child and the women. When people talk about women empowerment, we'll try to delve upon what the saint and the preacher Concorde told about women empowerment through his words and deeds in 15th century, 500, 550 years back. I am I'm deeply delighted and hugely gratified to have been welcomed and to get this invite from this wonderful institution called Digboy Mohila Mohabit Daloy. I would like to commend, compliment and congratulate the college for what they have achieved and also offer my best wishes in their academic journey in the years ahead, in the days ahead. I'm sure the college will be going higher glory despite having a lot of infrastructural problems, some of which we have faced now the current or the electricity being very erratic. But the academic bandwidth of the college is very, very stable. I think that's that's allegorically speaking when Jovial Kolita stands before or sits before me and stares me hard, I feel I tend to get unsettled. It becomes difficult for me to speak something in English and to give about, tell about allegory or figuratively or metaphorically. But I thought Big Boy College will help me. The college, the professors, the, uh, the students and the other well-wishers of this beautiful institution will help in this regard. I would like also to offer my gratitude. I think the college will do, but it's my duty also as someone from Assam, from the Indian Council of Philosophical Research for sponsored this national seminar on Hong Kong Day and the neo Vaishnavite movement in Assam. And the two very respected learned gentlemen, Dr. Vinod Kumar and Dr. Uh, let, let, let me... Huh? Dr. Praveen Kumar uh, and Dr. Vinod Kumar, the Praveen Kumar Sharma, having come all the way from Delhi, does not to speak of the respected principal, uh, Dr. Shetia Madam, Vice Principal, Dr. Bora Madam, Head of the Department, uh, Dr. Borthakur Madam, uh, from the Philosophy Department, the other teachers, the students, other scholars who have come all the way, maybe from different places, not only from Digboy, because I know Akhoi Mohanto and Pranita now, if I'm not mistaken, two young budding scholars, budding teachers from uh, a college. I think the college is named after Raghav Moran College in Dumduma, now uh, near Rupai siding. I thank and I hope this seminar would be definitely throwing new vistas, opening new areas of research on, I feel, somewhat inadequately, insufficiently, academically appreciated different sides of this great personality called Concordia. We have been blessed with by his presence and despite having been blessed with his presence and wonderful contribution, not leaving any aspect of human life untouched in this part of the country in 15th century, I think it is our bounden duty, especially for the young academic scholars, to rise to the occasion to rise to the occasion and do something academically instead of parroting some of the off-repeated cliches and platitudes which we keep on hearing. I don't know where that Vishwa Darbar is located. I don't think Vishwa Darbar, when we talk, when we talk about Vishwa Darbar, many people feel that it is either located in UK, London, or maybe in the United States of America. Nobody talks about a Vishwa Darbar in Africa, in Kenya, in Japan. In Australia, everyone thinks if there is a Bistro Dorbar, it has to be in the United Kingdom or the United States of America. Thus, two countries, I think George Bernard so very uh, famously once said that two countries divided by one common language, and that is the language I'm trying to employ and deploy now because it's a national seminar and we have to speak in English on the same Srimanta Concordia. I have a lot of butterflies in my stomach. I told all those this informally so that I get some strength. And strength would be coming from the youngsters. Strength will be coming from your eyes. The twinkle in your eyes with strength. But why I am having butterflies or why I am having some lump in my throat? Because all the people here, most of the people and the young scholars also, you are a repository of knowledge. You are a repository of great experience. Especially people on the dais, the people on the hall also. So when I have been surrounded by scholarship all around, I think it is a duty for me to remind you very respectfully early in the morning that I have to offer you a very, very earnest caveat. And the caveat is very, very simple and plain. My caveat is, do not expect a lot of academic underpinnings or scholastic overtones 
in my thought process, in my words about this great saint, Srimanta Concordia. Because I will feel free to talk about what thought has been, I will not say disturbing me, but that thoughts that have been intriguing me, sometimes unsettling me, sometimes telling me to delve into some other direction. Because he was a multifaceted genius, because he was a Ganesha man, he was not only a man of religion, we always tend to make a mistake. I am not digressing from the main thrust of this seminar because I know in the technical session different aspect of the saint Srimanta Hongkorde would be assessed academically by the scholars and the young scholars who might have tried to analyze the saint and his times and his contribution to this part of the country during that bhakti movement time of India. So during that point of time what he did, what he could achieve despite being a human being. For me, that was the main area of interest of Hongkordev, that for me he was a flesh and blood man. The moment you put him on a pedestal, that he is a god, probably some of our interest will come down because we feel only a god can achieve so much of thing in his life of say 119 or 120 years. But when you try to analyze historically as a flesh and blood character, as the man who is having the DNA of Assam in his thought process, in his philosophy, in his egalitarianism, all those aspects, then it really tends to surprise everyone that how within that 120 years, despite the initial 11, 12 years being, he was very, very cheerful and jovial and he was probably a little bit boisterous. We know about the crossing the river, some of the anecdotes that we get in the hagiographical literature and some of the things which have been corroborated by facts of history. When we read about some saint, because you can avoid hero worship altogether. Some amount of hero worship will always be there. Professors of English will recall and other scholars will also recall what Carlyle said in a different context some time back. Hero worship you cannot separate. But when you are in an academic seminar, the restrictive embrace of hagiography, it has, we have to dissociate from the restricted embrace of hagiography. Mane Bir Bandana Marja Thake is a Surit Puthi. Surit Puthi Bir Bandana Major Pra. We have to rescue Concorde, retrieve the actual flesh and blood Concorde by trying to analyze him in the light of some other historical facts and figures that have been called out before us by great scholars like Dr. Kinnat Besgurua, Vishnu Rabha, Dr. Vanikan, Dr. Pakuti, Dr. Moheshwar Neo, Dimbeshwar Neo, and in the present times, Dr. Nogen Khoikia, Dr. Sanjeev Borka Kuti, and different scholars in different parts of the world and more so in the state of Assam. But, I mean, what do you think about the saint? What is our opinion about the saint? How it is possible and all the, what are the different aspects? Because I have seen, I would like to congratulate, I forgot to congratulate the silent man. That's the problem of silence in today's world. I think Muhammad Malik, the Malik says that, what is the, what is the loose translation of Malik? Malik is one who is in the control of everything. He is, controls the narrative. But he sits so silently with a silent smile coming from a corner. I forgot him that I also have to congratulate him because he is the man instrumental in getting the learned assistant directors, both of them, they are not from Indian Council of Philosophical Research, but I express my gratitude to them because having been there in Indian Council of Historical Research, which is much more famous and reputed and much more, what you say, you can relate with the popular academic imagination of the country, they have decided to come to this part of the country and to get associated with that. I am very sure in the times to come after listening to your deliberation, he will, they will definitely try to situate Concorde when there will be a comparative study probably with Nanak or Kabir or Tukaram or Gyandev or Ramananda in different aspects of life. This is a, this is a, a, a seminar which has been sponsored by Indian Council of Philosophical Research and we should not forget about the monotheistic philosophy, if I can use the word loosely, philosophy. There is endless debate in Assam also about the interpretation, about the influence and impact of other scholars on the thought process of Saint Srimanta Concorde. There is a school of thought. Dr. Vartakur is here. The other scholars will also be there from the Department of Philosophy. I think they are the best academic people to throw light on that. But whatever little studies I have done, the monism of Hankara Sajjo or the qualified monism of Ramanuja Sajjo or there are different scholars, there are different saints 
সন্ত পুরুষ বলে আমি যে কো এট দ্যাট পয়েন্ট অফ টাইম মাচ বিফোর শঙ্কর দেব এন্ড দ্য ফিলসফিক্যাল প্রসেস হুইচ ইজ লুজলি বেসড অন সাম সর্ট অফ ইকুয়ালিটি ইকুয়ালিটি ইন এ মেডিভেল কন্টেক্স নট ইন দ্য কন্টেক্স আফটার ফ্রেন্স রেভলিউশন অফ সেভেনটিন এইটি নাইন বিকজ ওয়েন ইউ টক অবাউট রিপাবলিকানিজম ওয়েন ইউ টক অবাউট লিবার্টি ইকুয়ালিটি এন্ড ফ্রেটার্নিটি দ্যাট টেন টু গেট বি ডিফারেন্ট আফটার সেভেনটিন এইটি নাইন ফ্রেন্স রেভলিউশন সো ওয়েন উই ইউজ দ্য ওয়ার্ড ইন এ মিটিং দের ইজ নো প্রবলেম বাট ওয়েন উই ইউজ দ্য ওয়ার্ড ইন এন একাডেমিক ন্যাশনাল সেমিনার দ্যাটস ওয়াই আই এম গিভিং সাম ডিসক্লেমার দ্যাট ওয়েন আই ইউজ দ্য ওয়ার্ড ইকুয়ালিটি ওয়েন আই ইউজ দ্য ওয়ার্ড ডেমোক্রেটাইজেশন অফ রিলিজিয়ন আই ডোন্ট ওয়ান্ট টু ইউজ ইট ইন এ কন্টেক্স ইন হুইচ ইউ এসোসিয়েট ডেমোক্রেসি এন্ড লিবারেলিজম ইন টোয়েন্টি এট অর টোয়েন্টি ফার্স্ট সেঞ্চুরি অর এট এনি পয়েন্ট অফ টাইম আফটার সেভেনটিন এইটি নাইন ওয়েন দ্য ফ্রেন্স রেভলিউশন উই অল নো টু প্লেস সো ইউ হ্যাভ টু ইউ হ্যাভ টু গো বাই দ্য স্পিরিট অফ দ্য টার্মিনোলজি নট অ্যাবাউট দ্য স্কলার্স বাট স্পেশালি অ্যাবাউট মি এজ আই টোল্ড ইউ দেয়ার নট বি এনি স্কলারস্টিক আন্ডার পেনিংস অন মাই ট্রাস্ট হোয়াট এভার আই ফিল এন্ড আফটার মাই স্টাডিজ লিটল very little studies i have done based on that my thought process about the saint and his different initiatives i am just trying to what you call loud thinking before an august audience throbbing and pulsating with young blood and experienced blood and it's a beautiful blending it's a synthesis in which i get terrified again and moment i terrified i look at this because i cannot look at my friend jovial kolita for the reason for which i have stated before But anyway, coming back to the main trust that why Srimant of Hongkorde was unique, despite knowing the fact we all know that there are many saints at that point of time in India who tried to popularize and propagate Bhakti movement in different geographies of the country. Why he is unique? First of all, I will not go into the aspect of religion because I thought some other scholars will do because the main trust is Neo Vaishnavite movement. but one or two things i would like to highlight and underline and amplify why his religion was different without being judgmental about the fact that we tend to get carried away when we talk about religion especially in today's world or today's time religion has become a polarizing force i told there was a peace con- conclave sometime back where the archbishop of the church came and they also invited me to deliver a talk on peace then i had to tell on their face that we we may talk about religion endlessly over endless cups of tea and coffee but ultimately the cementing force or the capability of religion to act as a cementing force has been sufficiently been diluted in the recent times and the best example is the fight or the tussle or the war between russia and ukraine both the countries are christian countries but despite being christian their religion has not come in the way in which the bhupen hazrita's famous number manu hai manu har babe has gone for a toss you all know i don't have to tell here in a national seminar and educate you and enlighten you probably i should be educated and enlightened more by you on the recent happenings in the international arena i can tell you forcefully emphatically with all the force that at my humility or at my command that religion as a cementing force has failed so it's going to fail i personally feel in all the geographies of the world so i will not be talking much about that's my thought process my thinking about the saint but one thing i have to tell you why concorde felt the need to introduce why other bhakti saints there is an urgent need felt in different parts of the country to introduce something more democratic to introduce something more inclusive to introduce something which is based on egalitarianism which is not based on a hierarchical order where your hierarchy is determined by the janmo kul the caste in which or family in which you are born nothing can be more undemocratic nothing can be more horrifyingly what should i say unacceptable repugnant unconscionable to the fact that we had a caste system and we had to say that despite the caste system the the deleterious or dangerous effect of caste system had come down with the advent of education awareness science and technology social media so on and so forth but despite that we pick up a newspaper if not daily every week we tend to hear something either by some hierarchical order ostracizing someone killing someone in today's 21st century india 
and it reminds me that soulful, beautiful number of Bhupen Hazarika when he wrote this probably before my and Jovial's bar, probably he wrote it in the year 1968-69 or maybe when we were a child. Bhupen Hazarika had to write Juboti Onamika Gustami or Jubok Prakanta Dake Biyat Henu Kisu Badha Pale. If you if you go into the lyrics of the song, you will understand. You will understand, in 20th century, 50-year-old Bhupen Hazarika in 1970s, he was born in the year 1926, he felt that effect of casteism in Assamese society, despite knowing it fully well, that Assamese society compared to the so-called mainland India, in respect of caste division and all, we are far better, we are far egalitarian, but despite, we have to be very sure about that, we have to be clear, and we have must have got the honesty to honestly to admit that we had and even now we are having. So you can imagine 500, 550 years back what kind of situation the saint philosopher encountered in this part of the country in Assam. Although at that point of time the Assam as we understand today was was not, was yet to come to a uh, come to a reality. It was a concept probably, it was not even a concept because we know when we talk about Hongkorde there are three kingdoms in which he prevailed over. That's through his uh, neo vaishnavite social reform movement. Ubor Ahum Rajyo, Moddhar Kamrup Rajyo, Arupasimor Behar Rajyo. We know all these three places and there are small principalities in between in which he tried to propagate and popularize his egalitarian ideals or philosophical tenets, if we can use the word philosophy, in his despite knowing the fact that it's yet to be academically settled whether he is an original philosopher, whether some other influence he has imbibed and beautifully blended in the context of Assam. As we can see when he translated that beautiful verse of Dityo Skondho Bhagavad, in which we will not find in Akham, he was not talking about a caste like Hoon or Pulinda or Pukhan as we find in North India at that point of time. Concordate. The Assam, the then geography of Assam, was throbbing and pulsating very, very strongly and powerfully in his thought process, in his psyche, in his mindset. And that's why everything which comes from his great thinking and whatever he has beautifully transliterated, creatively transliterated, if I can utter only that particular part of Bhagavata, Hongkorde says, the Kirata Kosari, Khasigaru Miri, Jogonokonko Gual, Ohomo Muluko Rojoko Turuko, Ubasom Leso Sondal. He is not talking about Boon or Pulindas or other caste of North India. He is talking about certain caste and communities that he encountered in medieval Assam. So that's the beauty and that's why the, so as a social reformer he was an outstanding success. It's a different issue the Assamese people today's generation, us and our previous generation, we have failed him. Had he been born, I not make a rhetorical statement. I don't believe in rhetorics because I'm not into politics. I don't believe in pol uh, rhetorics because it's an academic national seminar. But even then, I cannot resist the temptation of saying a well, well thought out my belief that had he been born in any other place and more so in Bengal, we know how the Bengali people, how beautifully they have elevated Satyana Dev to the consciousness of the whole world. We know it very well without having any sort of disrespect to any other bhakti scene. The kind of multifaceted genius Hongkordeva was is truly, truly awe-inspiring and incredible. It is our failure. It is the failure of the Assamese people and in which I, am, I think I will be the first one to come to you and tell you that if we are responsible, I am responsible also. I am not saying that you are responsible and I get the mic and I get the invite to talk on a seminar. I am exempted from that. I will hold myself responsible first before telling others that we are all jointly responsible to some extent. I think that must of honesty and uprightness, intellectual uprightness, a college education, a college like Digboy Mohila, Mohila Mohabit Daloy has been trying to instill in our mindset. And probably we tend to forget at times that what colleges have been doing because we tend to take many things for granted. We tend to take many things for granted. When law and order is, everything is in order, then nobody talks about, nobody realizes the importance of law and order. But when something unsavory happened, many things, many unsavory things happened in the last few days in Assam or maybe in the country, maybe in the world, then we try to understand the importance of law and order. Similarly, if electricity is there all throughout the time in probably 
chief minister's house or deputy commissioner's house or maybe oil senior executive's house, the power doesn't go off. There they don't realize the importance or the lack of electricity at times. But when it goes, then you try to understand how important it is. Similarly, in the case of a saint also, if I can use that metaphor, those things are very, very important. Let me tell you very frankly, the background, the context in which I was telling he was born into, I will not go into much detail, but I will just tell you, not to speak of a very, very costly, elaborate and cumbersome rituals, which has been utilized by a certain section of the people in the society to work as a middleman between God and the followers in the Concordia's time and even now. I don't have any problem with that. If somebody believes in that, I am the last person to come into any other's religious freedom of choice. Concordia himself said, we fail to understand the man. He said that Paror Dharma Nihing Kiva Kodasi. If you read Bhakti Pradeep, then you will get Paror Dharma Nihing Kiva Kodasi. Concordia himself said in flowery, beautiful language. Etia, for us to understand that he was born in such a situation, the context was that. And I will quote Lokina Desburu, I am paraphrasing because I have got the bad habit of speaking at Stemport, despite having a paper, it's a challenge for me that I, I kept on telling Jovial that you always carry a paper but you do not look at the pa paper. I said I'll look at you, I'll look at the students and they will give you more strength than the paper with me. So I was uh, I was just telling, if I can paraphrase Lokina Desburu, uh, if you read Sri Sri Konkordev and Sri Sri Madhavdev, then you will try to realize the context. Then when Hongkordev was born during medieval Assam, not to speak of expensive elaborate rituals, there are tantric rituals horrifying, to say the least, to say the least horrifying, in which a pregnant woman, unborn child, her tummy or stomach was cut open, it was left asunder, and the unborn baby came out in the name of tantric rituals. So, so horrifying. So, uh, something we cannot think even now, but that was the context in which Lokinath Besborah wrote, Concordia emerged or Concordia was born in Assam. And there he came, it was nothing but, he was not a revolutionary, he was not an iconoclast. Many people say he was an iconoclast. I said Nanakar Kabir was probably iconoclast, but despite being not very, uh, what I say, Confrontationist in his approach with the priestly class and all, he was always conciliatory, but he was an astute human being. Tremendous sense of intelligence and all, he succeeded, whereas Kabir, despite being very, very revolutionary type, in respect of his treatment towards caste system, you will not find many of the followers of Kabir in mainland heartland India. You will find, but Concordia's followers are much more. Why? Because he utilized, he utilized or deployed or employed his astuteness, if I can word, use the word, adroitness in capturing the fancy of the people to a very, very simplistic religious order in which Harinam Lua Sondal, Harinam Lua Brahman or Ke Uparat Te Othaidisi. That, see, in medieval India, religion used to occupy a lion's share of a person's life. Today's world is different. Today we can, I have the luxury of saying, although I will talk about Concordia, I am an agnostic. I can say I am an atheist. I can say that. Many others, you can also say that. But in medieval India, the importance of religion in a human being's life was so profound, so deep. Nobody could disassociate with them, with the luxury of a mic, although mic was not there, with the luxury of a lectern or a monso, that I am not going to be a party to this thing. So in that situation, he had to reform the religion. I always think, had Concordia been born today, in 20th or 21st century of home, probably he would have utilized on not only religion, but other aspects of human life also, to bring about, to usher in revolutionary changes in the thought process of the Assamese people. Despite not being an iconoclastic revolutionary, Despite not being an icon iconoclastic rebel, he brought about revolutionary changes with his great amount of intelligence. So what he did? He did what is actually Concordia's dharma, if you can say in one word. Je Vedantor Brahma, Gitar Sri Krishna's Juriyate, Ar Bhagavatar Bhokotir Maidhamere, Nahi Bhokotir Jatiyo Jati Bishar Buli Koi, Hongkinotar or Hamprodaikotar Uddaloi Goi, Ohomotzi, I duck me Kaimovador, Omok Bani, Bilaisil, Hitwe as a Mohapur Simonta Hong Kordevor, religious order. Yakoi, 
सिंपल माने हरण कोई हंकर ने बोल गुटिये मैं ना भावो आन कुनु बाई मैं एक ही नहीं कथा मैं मूल मनोर प्राप आई सिंसियरली बिलीव इन दिस वर्ड्स एक ही नहीं कथा मज़ोते हंकर ने बोल गुटिये धर्म तो लुकाया सो कोई कुछ है पढ़ा धर्म आप नहीं की बात बता सी कोई कोई से क्या हो ही वाज एन इंटेलिजेंट मैन हंकर ने मुझे कुछ रेबल ना सील इन रेस्पेक्ट ऑफ इस ट्रीटमेंट टुवर्ड्स द ब्राह्मणों एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम ही नेवर यूज्ड टू टेक डायरेक्ट काजल्स अगेंस्ट द ब्राह्मणों लाइक कबीर एंड सम अदर सेंट्स डिड बिकॉज़ यू नो न्यू दैट 500 इयर्स बैक एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम व्हेन द क्रिस्टली क्लास हैज गॉट ट्रिमेंडस इन्फ्लुएंस इफ यू टेक अ हेड ऑन कोलिशन देयर विल बी स्ट्राइफ इन सोसाइटी एंड Ultimately, his main philosophy, what he wanted to do for the people. When you say people, it's like Nodai and Bhodai, the Tom Dick and Harry in our society, the marginalized, the proletariat class. Again, if I can use the word, he wanted to bring about, and he wanted to bring about that thing in the all the Assamese people that came to his fold gradually and gradually. So, democratization of religion, making it more inclusive. Based on egalitarian order was the bedrock of his religious principle, and now leaving aside his religion, why other aspects of Hong Kong Day was also important? I I cannot restrain the temptation of saying because there are many scholars, many young scholars about two three other different aspects of thing which Hong Kong Day did, which is not directly associated with religion. I would like to say the slavery, the slavery thing comes to my mind. I think Okoy will remember. Okoy Jyoti Mohanto was a young budding student in Tespur University. When I delivered that lecture in Tespur University, also I said this, and today it will be a repetition for you. But some things are always better, I think, to hear again and again. Although you have to hear not from a very wise man, but from a lesser mortal like Moyur Bora. So I pity your condition, but despite being, I don't get swayed away by your condition. I am going to repeat that. See Thomas Jefferson was the third president of United States of America and he is one of the towering intellectuals of the world Thomas Jefferson he was the principal drafter of the American Declaration of Independence what he did he said he described slavery as a terrifying fireball in the night sky he used lot of pompous and words which i am not capable of using sometimes jovial kalita when he wants to terrorize us Like our cotton group, which is English, he does that, and he does that with aplomb. I really envy you for that. But I am not comparing you with Thomas Jefferson. Okay, don't get so high also. So what I am trying to say, Thomas Jefferson said, "Terrifying fireball in the night sky." But what he did actually for the slave, Thomas Jefferson came to this world after 150 war years of Concorde. He was in the 18th century America, because we know 1776 then the. American Civil War of 1870 that is 19th century when some amount of treatment for slavery was done after the American Civil War Thomas Jefferson despite being so lofty so pompous about the issue of slavery but he did not manumit more than 600 700 slaves who worked in his toil in his field in Virginia in United States of America there are a lot of books on Thomas Jefferson Eulogizing, eulogizing him, praising him, lauding him, but at the same time also lambasting him, denouncing him because of his double standard. He was telling principal drafter of the American Declaration of Independence, supposed to be the repository of democratic ethos for lesser mortals or lesser countries, if I can use the word quote unquote for us. But what he did, he did not even he chired lot of children. Also with his mistress, despite having his own children through his legitimate wife, he did not give any property to his children, which he sired because of the hormonal urge of that time with the mistress he had. George Washington was slightly better. George Washington also did not manumit during his lifetime the first president of United States of America, but at his death, after all, he manumitted many slaves. But Thomas Jefferson. That also he gave in a will among his legitimate children that this was slave will work under you or with you. But why I am comparing or why I am bringing Thomas Jefferson's name? If you read the hagiographical literature of a home, you will find areas in Western Assam, more than the Bad Bauki. You will find not in one hagiographical literature, but in number of them, two, three of them, where Hong Kong Day is credited to have manumitted. Many of the slaves working in that part of the that part of the state and that point of time. Manage 
দাসত্ব প্রথার পা মুক্তি দিয়ার যে কথা পাঁচশো বছর আগতে শঙ্করদেবে ভাবিছিল ডর ডর দাসত্ব অবসান করি বলে কোয়া টমাস জেফারসনের দরে আমেরিকার তৃতীয় রাষ্ট্রপতিজনে ইমান লিখার পিছতো নিজের জীবন ছশো সাতশো দাসক আবদ্ধ করে রাখিছিল ডিড নট মেনি মিট দেন আর স্লেভার ইন আমেরিকা ইজ ফার মোর হরিফাইং দেন হাট উই সি ইন দিস পার্ট অফ দ্য রিজন এটি তো আমার স্লেভার ইন আই বাট দ্য ওয়েস্টার্ন ওয়ার্ল্ড দ্য সো কল হাইট অর্ডার ইজ বেসড অন দ্য টয়েল অফ লর অফ স্লেভস এন্ড দ্যাটস ওয়াই ওয়েন পিপল টক এবার বিশ্ব দরবার আই উইল ইজ রেফার টু আফ্রিকা যে আফ্রিকাত কেউ নাই বিশ্ব দরবার কেউ বগা মানুষের মাজত আছে হাই দ্যাট ডিসক্রিমিনেশন হাই উই আর স্টিল হ্যাভিং দ্যাট কলোনিয়াল হ্যাং ওভার দ্যাট ইট হ্যাজ টু বি অনলি ইন লন্ডন অর ইন নিউ ইয়র্ক অর ইন আটলান্টা বেলেগত কেউ নহয় এই কথা তো দ্যাট ইজ দ্য ডিফারেন্স দাসর ক্ষেত্র উইমেন এম্পাওয়ারমেন্ট দে আর লট অফ লেডিজ দে আর লট অফ ইয়াং স্কলার্স ফ্রম দ্য দ্য আদার জেন্ডার ইফ আই অফ আদারনেস ইজ ম্যান বাট ইভেন দেন বাট দ্যাট হ্যাজ বিন সামথিং ক্রিয়েটেড বাই নেচার এন্ড গড এন্ড হোয়াট ইজ শঙ্কর ডেজ ভিউ অন রিলি বিকজ মেনি থিংস আর মিস ইন্টারপ্রেটেড ইন আসম ইজ মেডিয়া এন্ড সামটাইমস আই ফিল নট ইন মেডিয়া বাট ইন সাম অফ দ্য রাইট আপস ডান বাই সাম অফ দ্য স্কলার্স অলসো দে আর আই থিঙ্ক দে হ্যাভ নট বিন এবল টু understand or internalize his thought process in respect of women shankar de i will not compare with him or uh, compare him with say aristotle or confucius because it will be an invidious comparison aristotle and confucius came to this world 1500 years before shankar de so it will be wrong on my part because but what aristotle say despite being a great philosopher it's a philosophical seminar that's why i'm broaching the subject of aristotle and confucius confucius i also like one of his famous uh, saying or maxim that our greatest glory lies not in never falling but rising every time we fall should be the existential credo of all human being like you me and everyone because that is the that is the reason why there is a phrase in english that or idiom in english that failure is the pillar of success that confucius and that aristotle said something about women which i am known as an insolent man i am known as a man who doesn't means words to speak before power before any politician before anyone but even now i cannot allow myself to say what aristotle told about women what confucius told about women unspeakable i again i am saying try to analyze in the context i am not blaming them but i am comparing concordeb with martin luther who was born probably 37 years after concordeb in germany luther and the lutheranism calvinism the reformation renesha you all know about that what martin luther told not the martin luther junior of united states or not the black man the white martin luther of germany of 15 16th century what he told about women i will not say here because you just see in google not now of course afterwards and what concord a thing talk about women in his own life and through his own bits he has exemplified that he has shown how women in his thought process was different of course when we say different you 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 cannot compare concord again with virginia wool it will be wrong because virginia wool is there in 20th century she said beautiful work about women empowerment there are many women empowerment movements i will not go into details but i will give you two example concordes why kalindi i we all know in concordes religious order there is no place for a place for idol worship but concordes kalindi i wife for some time in her life despite knowing the fact that her husband has propagated a growing popular religious order based on uh based what you call egalitarianism and with, without any association with idol worship she continued to worship her duty at her place but concordeb did not forcibly stop his wife not to do that we all know that it is because of the proddings because of the pleadings because of the advice of sri sri madhavdev the guru patni kalindiai after some point of time respectfully removed their idol from their home so that we can make out from the attitude of the saint towards women second sondoriai you might have heard about this lady sondoriai was griha sahay karini i don't want to use the word domestic servant because there are a lot of negative connotations with the word so griha sahay karini is a somewhat in ahomia is a lofty word i know that but despite knowing that its loftiness or pompousness i'm using because griha sahay karini sondoriai when she was washing clothes at the river bank there are a lot of scholars lot of priests they used to pass by and they used to pick up quarrel 
with the lady about quarrel, not about petty things, about philosophical things, about Concordia's religion and all. But Sondori, I could silence many of those pundits, many of those scholars whose main duty was to was to study and to propagate those ideas with the common masses. The fact that Sondori, I could defeat those scholars is a testimony to the fact, testimony to the ecosystem in which Concordia household was blessed with. And it is, I think, blessed with is a wrong word, in which Concordia might have painstakingly built up an ecosystem in which a lady, a griho hawai karini, also could imbibe some of his learning, based on which, armed with which, she could have quarrels, scholarly quarrels, with the class of priests and scholars at the river bank. And all those things are historical facts. So this shows how he treated ladies, how he treated women. The Griho Hohai Karini and his Bhajja wife, from there we come to know. Environment. Uh, we talk a lot today when Jubil had to take the trouble of bringing me from Balijan tea state to his wonderful college called Likpoi Mohila Mahavidyalaya. We came through this forest called Lokkipada Soraipung, pregnant with many histories for which we are probably not very proud of. I will not go into those details, but during, during our Start, stop over maybe for a minute with a handsome man like Jovial Kolita to get a picture with me. When I when I forced him to stop, he is telling no principal would be angry. I'd be late. I said no one for you can wait for at least one photograph. I will take the blame before your honourable principal. And I do that formally now. Now what I was telling, and I forgot what I was telling. What's the reference? Nature. Okay, that's the problem of speaking example. Nature. You might have, I am telling you the elderly people, elderly men are not at your mind, but probably physically, like people like us or someone senior to us. You might have gone to different places of Digboy, Tinsukia, Guwahati, Jorhat, other places, for the environmental project of your son or your nephew, maybe your grandson. And they always give at the last moment. My wife always keeps on complaining. I said, there is no point complaining me, but being a wife, you can also complain because I have to, uh, I have to listen to you carefully and silently, as Malik does, because I do all the talking as outside, at home generally for the greater peace and tranquility. I try to keep my mouth shut. I think I should not say much detail about my home front. She will be angry because I, you never know who gets recording and how she gets a WhatsApp. What I was trying to WhatsApp, what I was trying to say, I think was important in a sense that that environment project. Then you have to run helter and skelter. You go to office, one shop is closed, one shop will tell you, no, no, these are all exhausted. Oh, that kind of issue we encounter. And about that environment, I think one word, one sentence of Srimanta Hongkorde 550 years back is enough. I don't have to, a lesser mortal like Moyur Bora doesn't have to explain from this lectern, from this podium, getting box behind it and getting drawing strength only from you to tell you that what I say is Doho Putra Homo 550 years back, in mainland India, even now we have the system of dowry. Even in Assamese society we started having dowry. Forget about dowry. Dowry looks uh, somewhat very, very non-serious in a way comparatively when we hear about female feticide. When we he hear about many of the things in which a boy child is such uh, desired by everyone. I don't blame, I don't, I don't criticize their desire. They can desire anything in a democratic society. But harming someone to fulfill your innate desire for a son is also there and it is a unsettling, disturbing truth of the modern times. At such point of time, in 500 years back, when the man comes and tells, one son is, sorry, one tree is equal to ten sons, you can well imagine. The Dokha Putra Komobrikha. In nature of the Prakitirikha, you see his writings. Don't see only with the religious lens. When you see with the other lens, the secular lens, again I'm using secular in the current context, don't get unsettled by the word, use of words, only to make things understand. I'm using that. Then you will come to know that how he was, he was describing different seasons, how he was describing the beauties of the nature in a home, how he was describing the mountains, the hills, the rivers, the lakes, different seasons. All those things are so beautifully expressed in his writing, in his poems, in his gift. 
that we tend to get mesmerized. But when you will get mesmerized, when the young scholar will get fascinated, when they go into deep into this. Many people ask me, even Dr. Kumar and Dr. Sharma also in the morning, they were asking me that my field was totally different. Although I am not in that field after taking VRS last year, I was a development banker, then they were surprised. Genuinely so. I would also have been surprised. It is only because of my passion about the history of Assam, little bit of philosophy, sociology. That's why I always hold dear to my heart. I, my profession as a development banker, and after completing my studies in Delhi, when I joined NABARD in the year 1996 in Lucknow, I had no, I always knew that something from Assam, because I did not read a single sentence about Occam when I studied in Delhi, when I studied uh, history in Delhi. Probably now two, three sentences might have come, one para might have come, <coughs> despite all the hue and cry raised by different section of the society in Assam for the last many years. But it is only because a lesser mortal like I'm not I'm not trying to be extra humble. I'm just trying to underline the fact that if you want, where there is a will, you can do it. There is a way. So my atta khobdo atta bike ko nopoha koi. Akhmor buranjir bikhoye. Mo jodi akhmor buranjir bikhoye. Ekhon kitab likhar atta khawak mo bhangi ta bhavoli nai kor. Puri bo paro. Mo bhavo azir college or seminar or. गवेषणा पत्र दी अह छ्र छ्री शिक्षक शिक्षय और तुम लोग ज्येष्ठन जी बौद्धिक भाव आध्यात्मिक भाव आध्यात्मिक शब्द तो लगभग लगे ना नजानो जीख सहय सहज तरह कि इट इज पसिबल एवरीथिंग इज पसिबल इट डिपेन्डस अन योर मैं कह ना आम मैं आप्तवाक्य तो पहरी गई আমার কি থাকুতে মন আমার বাপরা মাটিতে বাইরে আপনি জানিব ভালকে মানে ওয়ে देयर इज अ উইল देयर इज अ ওয়ে মন করিলে সন বাপরি মাটি হন এই বুঝে কয় এই গুটি কথা বল অল দিস থিংস ইউ উইল ফাইন্ড ইন डिफरेंट ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজেস গুটি মই কি কথা আশা করো নেচার উইমেন দেন রেসপেক্ট ফর এলডার্স উইমেন বলি কলে देयर इज अ বিগ কন্ট্রোভার্সি अराउंड 12 ইয়ার্স ব্যাক अबाउट এ দিল্লি ইউনিভার্সিটি ডিসিশন to remove a particular scholar named ramanujam he is a profound scholar when his book was removed because of certain reason i don't want to go because this is a uh, national seminar based on academics i will not go into details but the important thing is his book was probably 100 ramayans or 1000 ramayans i mean to say ramayana has been rendered into different indian languages but in no ramayana you will find that what shankar dev talks about in lofty terms or rebellious kita in the uttara kanda of ramayana now many people will ask me that we don't know shankarde did not translate the uh, ramayana into assamese because we all know who did it madhav kondoli purva kobi madhav kondoli but i think the young scholars scholars would be knowing and for the people probably who do not know let me make it very clear there are seven cantos hatta kanda as in ramayana and during shankardev's time the first and the last kanda did not survive only the in between five kandas were there that's why shankar dev said bharar bo madhav dev kole tumi adi kanda to kora ar moi uttara kanda to koru and in uttara kanda which has been written by shankar dev ahomia kitai ki buli koise je phat mela bohumoti patale lukao etu kinu bangali kitai koise tamil kitai koise pisor line to kinu an kuneo nai ko ahomia kitai koise phat mela bohumoti patale lukao ইটু রামচন্দ্রর মুখকো না চাও তার ইমান বিদ্রোহ ইমান খং সেই কন্টেক্স তার মহিলার উপর রামচন্দ্র মর্যাদা পুরুষোত্তম বলে কোয়া হয় তখেতর এই সিদ্ধান্তটার শঙ্করদেবর সীতায় বিদ্রোহ করেছে বিদ্রোহ মানে আর আজির নিচিনা তো আপনি একবিংশ অধিকার বিদ্রোহর সেই বিদ্রোহ তো মিলাব নয় কিন্তু সময় এই কোয়াটো ডর কথা বিকজ ই নো আদার উত্তরাকাণ্ড রামায়ণ অর রামায়ণ ইউ উইল ফাইন সীতা ইজ সো ট্রান্সেন্ট Kita is so critical about Rama, saying that I'm not going to look at his face. Look at your face. Then you can hear that Kothabi from God is also not true. Ghorat pao. I mean, poori baro khetra, griho khawai karne khetra, also not true. Because the most babu, the apna look ekhon mohila mohabit dalo, mohi kena mohila ammon dio tini ta dristan to rangi thori lo. Eight inta dristan to dara. Apna look ko unrus kuri so International Women's Day comes, many other days come. I mean, kitiya ba kitiya. Mohi apna look ko ngai kua. We get tend to get imprisoned. in formality and probably very very predictable kind of academic exercise a predictable kind of academic exercise we have to dismantle we have to come out i request dikboy mohila mohabidyalay uh, honorable principal dr setia baido 
যে আপনাদের কিন্তু এই নারীবাদী চিন্তার উপর অক শঙ্করদেবর কথা নয় ভার্জিনে উলফো আহ টমাস জেফারসনও আহ আর বহুত ডর স্কলার আহ এরিস্টলো আহক আপনাদের কিন্তু এখন সেমিনার আলোচনা চক্র করবেন মনে ভাবি নারী সবলীকরণ বা এই বিষয়ত বহুত গতানুগতিক সেমিনার হয় এনে এখন সেমিনার ভাল হব বলে মানে বিশ্বাস করো আই এম শিওর ইউ উইল গেট ফান্ডিং এন্ড ইউ উইল ডু দা নিডফুল ইন দিস রিগার্ড এন্ড ইফ নট দেন দেন আই উইল হোল্ড আওয়ার জোভিয়েল পুলিস আর রেসপন্সিবল ফর দ্যাট বিকজ হি কিপস অন ট্রাভেলিং মি আই উইল কিপ অন ট্রাভেলিং হিম নাও একাডেমিকালি ফর দিস অবশ্যই নাই নাই হওয়া কেউ নাই হওয়া খাইল খাইল কোল্ড ড্রিঙ্কস এনিওয়ে আই এম ডুইং অল দ্যাট টু ট্রাভেলিং এন্ড মাই ফ্রেন্ড ইজ সিটিং হিজ কোল্ড ড্রিঙ্কস এনিওয়ে ক্যারি অন ক্যারি অন ক্যারি অন ক্যারি মুখ্যমন্ত্রী আগর পর লি এটা সব সিরিয়াস আমার বিরোধী নেতা সিরিয়াস ছাত্র সন্তান সিরিয়াস তথাপিও জাতি তো ভবা মতে উত্তর হওয়া নাই মানে আজিকালি যে অনুষ্ঠানতে যাও আমি সিরিয়াস তো হবই লাগিব তার মধ্যে অকমান আপনাদের হাঁহি বড় কিন্তু ইম্পর্টেন্ট দ্যাট স্মাইল ক্যান বি এ মেটা ফর ফর এ বেটার আসাম ফর এ বেটার টুমরো নট দ্য বেটার ওয়ান হুইচ হ্যাজ বিন পেরোটেড বাই সাম পলিটিক্যাল লিডার্স দ্য রিয়েল আর্নেস কুয়েস্ট এন্ড ইয়ার্ন এন্ড লংগিং ফর এ বেটার আসাম ফর বেটার হিউম্যানিটি অর বেটার ইউনিভার্স উই আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড দ্যাট হাউ হাউ ইউনিফাইং ওয়াজ কোভিড এন্ড হাউ নন ইউনিফাইং ওয়াজ রিলিজিয়ন আমার রাশিয়া ইউক্রেনের যুদ্ধ আর কোভিডর মহামারী হাউ দ্যাট স্মল মিনিস্কুল ভাইরাস উই ক্যানট সি উইথ আওয়ার আইজ উই কুড নট ইন্টিমিডেট ইট উই কুড নট এরেস্ট ইট উই কুড নট ডু এনিথিং অনলি ভ্যাকসিন হ্যাজ বিকাম দ্য সোল আর্ম অর সাম ভাল ওয়ার্ক এগেনস্ট দ্যাট ভাইরাস এনিওয়ে মানে এটা কথা ইয়াক কো রেসপেক্ট ফর ইলনার্স আমি যে ডক্টর চেতিয়া ডাঙরিয়া নিয়ে আমার অধ্যক্ষ মানে অধ্যক্ষা আছে কওতে আমি যে ম্যাডাম বাইদেউ বলে কিহ বাবে মতো ভাবি পড়ো আই কেম বাই ফ্লাইট সামন স্পন্সার মি সামন পেড মি মতো এটা ডর মানুষ টেলিভিশন ওলাই থাকো ডর সন্মান দিব লাগে নাই ডর আর কিনা এখন যেটা মানুষ সেই চেয়ার খুব বহি থাকে বাইদ বেয়া নাপাব দিয়ে আপনার উদাহরণ হিসাবে লো গেছো এই সন্মান জানো দরকার কেউ দরকার মানে আপনার শঙ্করদেব লে ঘুরে যাও ইউ নো অনন্ত কন্দলিয়ে কিন্তু আপনাদের জানেন না সার্বভৌম ভট্টাচার্য শঙ্করদেব ওয়ান অফ দ্য ডিসাইপল তেতিয়ার দিনতো এটা এটা মানে সাংঘাতিক বিতর্ক আছিল শঙ্করদেব ব্রাহ্মণ শিষ্য আসিল নাই এন্ড সার্বভৌম ভট্টাচার্য রোট এ ডিফাইনিং ট্রিটাইজ গিভিং দ্য নেমস অব অল দ্য ব্রাহ্মণ ডিসাইপলস অব শ্রীমন্ত শঙ্করদেব এই এটা বেলেগ কথা মানে কথাটা কই থলো এই এজন ব্রাহ্মণ শিষ্য আসিল অনন্ত কন্দলি অনন্ত কন্দলিয়ে শঙ্করদেব কলে ইউ ডিসমেন্টেল দ্য ডকুমেন্ট যেটা রামায়ণত কলে যে বড়ার পর তুমি আদি কাণ্ড করা মানে উত্তরা কাণ্ড তো করো তো অনন্ত কন্দলিয়ে ভাবি না সিন্স ইউ আর গোয়িং টু দিস টু কাণ্ডস টু চ্যাপ্টার্স ওয়াই ওয়ান টু ইউ ওয়ান্ট টু রিটেন দ্য অরিজিনাল ফাইভ রিটেন বাই মাধব কন্দলি ইউ ডেস্ট্রয় ইট ইউ আর এ প্রলিফিক জেনিয়াস ইউ রাইট দ্য হোল ডকুমেন্ট এ ফ্রেজ তেতিয়া শঙ্করদেবে সে করলে নাকি নাই করা তার বিপরীতে কলে মানব কন্দলি কি বলে কলে কোনে কলে শঙ্করদেবে কে পূর্ব কবি অপ্রমাদি দ্য রেসপেক্ট ফর এলডার্স উইচ ইজ ভেরি ভেরি রেলেভেন্ট ইন এ কলেজ উইচ ইজ ভেরি ভেরি রেলেভেন্ট এই যে বোকাত আমি লেটি লই থাকা কিছু যুবক আট ন দিন বেকি আসো বহুত মো মনত পড়ে যে রেসপেক্ট ফর এলডার্স কলে গল রেসপেক্ট ফর ডিসেন্সিয়ার নর্মস কলে গল পুরোহি মানে পাপনের কিনা একটা অনুষ্ঠান আসিল যাকালি এই টেলিকাস্ট হয়েছিল তাত মানে কারো মানে নাম লোক নাই কিন্তু মানে একটা কথা কো যে মানুষের রুচি বিকৃত নকর মনোরঞ্জন যদি কোনোবা আর যাওতি যুগিয়া সাতাম পুরুষিয়া সমৃদ্ধিশালী ঐক্য যদি মানে ঐতিহ্য আর পরম্পরাক যদি বাহিরলে লো যাব সেই কথাটা আমি উদগনি জানা উচিত আর কোনোবাই যদি কোনোবা গায়কে যদি বোকা খেলার ক্ষেত্রে কারবা সহযোগ করেছে বা তেনেকা উৎসাহ দিছে সেই কথাব কিন্তু আমি উৎসাহ জানা উচিত বলে মনে ভাবো এই সভ্য সমাজের চিন নহয় মানে বারো ঠিক আছে মানে বেলেগ কথা লোক নাযাও এই রেসপেক্ট ফর এলডার্সর কথা কলো আমি কোভিডর কথা কোতে মনত পড়িল আমার দ্য ক্লিনলিনেস দ্য ইম্পর্টেন্স গিভেন বাই দ্য সেন্ট অন ক্লিনলিনেস ইউ মাই টেভ অল সিন ইন নাম নামঘর আমি যে প্রেয়ার করার সময়ত আমি যে হেরি করো নামঘর বলে কলে আমার জোনালী বরুয়া দাস আছে মানে ডিগ্গলে বা উজনি যেতিয়াই আহো তখন সেই 
আমার প্রতি বা মূল ভাষণের প্রতি থাকা আগ্রহ লিখনের প্রতি থাকা আগ্রহে মূল সমৃদ্ধিশালী করে আজিও আপনার দেখি মানে ধন্যবাদ জানাইছো আপনি সাক্ষী অথনির পর খং করে আছে মানে ইমান দূরের পর বাদ করে বাই যাও মরির পর এতালে মূল নামেই লোক নাই আপনার দেখিল নাম তো ললো এটা কথা তো হল নামঘর বলে কলে আপনার মনে পড়ে দিকবর এটা সাংঘাতিক ঐতিহ্য আসিল মানে লিখিছিল চল্লিশটা মান নামঘর একটা জন্মোৎসব পাতে এই গোটেখিন কথা এটা কথা তো হল এই কোভিডর সময় আপনি নিজে ভাবিব দেই জাস্ট ট্রাই টু ইমাজিন থিংস কোভিডর সময় সকলে মাস্ক এটা করার কারণে আমিও পিন্ধা নাই গাড়ি আছে জবিয়ের পকেটত আছে মূল গাঁথা তো আছে আমি পিন্ধা নাই বেলে কথা কিন্তু আপনি নামঘর চাবসন দেউরী বিলনিয়ায় যেটা গোটে মানে যে কলো হি ডিড নট লিভ এনি এসপেক্ট অফ হিউমেন লাইফ আনটাচ থ্রু হিজ ওয়ান্ডারফুল কন্ট্রিবিউশন টাচিং এসপেক্ট অল দ্য এসপেক্ট অফ হিউমেন লাইফ এই কথা তো আমার দেউরী বিলনিয়ায় কি করে এখন গামোসা এনেকে মারি পেলায় কারণ ধুই উলাই নয় বা বিভিন্ন হেরি উলাব পারে সেই তারপ গিয়ে পেলে হেরি করে গতি কি বিজ্ঞানসম্মত সাইন্টিফিক আসিল সেই কারণে এই যে এনভারনমেন্টর ক্ষেত্র ইন রেসপেক্ট অফ এনভারনমেন্ট ইন রেসপেক্ট অফ উইমেন ইন রেসপেক্ট অফ রেসপেক্ট ফর এলডার্স ইন রেসপেক্ট অফ ইস থট প্রসেস এবাউট স্লেভারি এই গোটেখিন কথায় প্রমাণ করে যে শঙ্করদেব ওয়াজ অলসো ডেসপাইট বিং এভ্রিথিং রোল ইন টু ওয়ান হি ওয়াজ অলসো এ ম্যানেজমেন্ট গুরু মানে আর বেশি দীঘলিয়া নক এই দুটা কথা কে সামরিম আই নো দে আর লট অফ ইয়াং স্কলার্স দে আর রেয়ারিং টু গো মানে আরো বেশি দিয়ে রখাই থাকে ভাল নহব আর বিভিন্ন বিষয়ে কব আই এম শিওর দিস উইল বি এন এনরিচিং ওয়ান এন্ড স্পেশিয়ালি ডক্টর কুমার এন্ড ডক্টর শর্মা হ্যাভিং কাম অল দ্য ওয়ে ফ্রম ডেলি দে উইল অলসো ক্যারি ফরওয়ার্ড দিস মেসেজ অফ ডিগ বয় মহিলা মহাবিদ্যালয় হুইস আর ইনস্ট্রুমেন্টাল ইন হ্যাভিং দিস সেমিনার টুডে এন্ড দ্য প্রবেবলি দ্য লট অফ গ্রাউন্ড ওয়ার্ক স্পেড ওয়ার্ক ডান বাই মিস্টার মালিক Malik has to be more Malik like from the next time one or see that's all I get an invite to this college and see. Good to see your smile. Anyway, what I was telling Hekorji to Kotha, management tactic, team building. We always say he was very successful in team building. Why? You know, because if I am entrusted with the job that I have to make a team of all the people who are sitting in this and if I want the team to perform, if my mandate is very, very clear, that we jointly will do something which is better for this college, for this community or for this state, then my main principle has to be I have to go by merit based on the principle of equality. If I say the people who are sitting on the dais, I have to give preferential treatment to them. Moment I do that, my philosophy, my mission will crumble. It will start crumbling. Hong Kong did not do that. 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 চিহ্নযাত্রা ভাওনা করার সময় যে সময় ধর্মর সময় গরিষ্ঠ সংখ্যক মানুষ ধর্মর গন্ডির বাহির আসিল চিহ্নযাত্রা ভাওনাত বিভিন্ন সেই সময় তথাকথিতভাবে নিষ্কুলিয়া মানুষক ভাওনার যোগ্য আসিল বাবে স্থান দি মানুষের মনত দেবত্ব আরোপ করেছিল এই আটাইতক ডর কথা মানুষের মনত দেবত্ব আর সেই কারণে ভূপেন হাজরিকার মানুষে মানুষের গীতট যুক্ত গীত শতাব্দীর আটাইতক শ্রেষ্ঠ বাংলা গীত হিসাবে আজি পরিগণিত হয়েছে সদায় মানুষের কথা আমার নীলমণি ফুকন ডরিয়াই সেদিনা কি কলে সেদিনা জ্ঞানপীঠ বতালে কি কলে মানুষের কথা কলে মানুষের কথা কলে মানুষ সেই মানুষক লো চন্দ্রকুমার আগরলায় কবিতা লিখিছে সেই মানুষক লো লক্ষ্মীনাথ বেজবর সকলের সৃষ্টিত মানুষ আর মানুষের কথা কলে এটা আপনার মানে মূল মাত শুনে সঙ্গে নয় পিছর পর অল্প কোনো মাত এটা শুনিছে না শুনে আছো মানে এইখানে কে শেষ করি এই টিম বিল্ডিং করার সময় এই দল যে মানুষে গঠন করে অল্প যাওতে নয় কোনো মোবাইল টোবাইল চাব পারে নয় মো অকান আহ আগুয়াই ক্লাস লোয়া যেন লাগে কলেজত আলে এই দল গঠন করার সময় আমি যদি সকলকে সমান বলে নাভাব আমার কিন্তু মিশন উড বি আনসাকসেসফুল উইল নট উইল নট সাকসেস উইল ফেইল মিজোরেবলি এন্ড স্পেকটেকুলারলি সেইটো করা নাছিল আর এটা শেষত মানে কথা কো আমার মানুষে কেতাবা কেতাবা কয় আমার মানে মেন সাহাব সাহাব আজিকালি বহু তোলাল মানে নিজের তো কুলার তো এরি বোকার তো লোক মানসিকতা এই তো মানুষের মাজ বহু বেশি আর এইখানে কথা মানে অসমিয়াতে কো এটা কারেন্ট তো নাই আমার মানুষে আমার ইমান যাওতি যুগিয়া বিয়া নাম এইবর কথা আসলে গুরুজনার তিথি লাচিত দিব সুলনা চুকাফা দিব আমি বন্ধ হিসাবে পালন করো কিন্তু আমি পাহরি যাও হিন্দি সিরিয়েল ফটুয়া হিন্দি সিরিয়েল চাই তাত দেখা সকলব উৎসব তাত দেখা সঙ্গীত মেহেন্দি আমি নিজের লড়া ছালীর বিয়া নাতি নাতিনীর বিয়া গৌরবেরে করে ফেসবুক আমি দেখাই দিও এই হল মানুষের চরিত্র খোলা মানে অধিকাংশ দিয়ে নগর বসবাস করা গাঁর মানুষের মাজ এটাও সেই কথাবর আছে সেইটা চরিত্র হবেন কিন্তু আমি 
এই যে শঙ্করদেবর সৃষ্টিয়ে হোক লাচিত চুকাফা এই যে বর্ণিল সৃষ্টির জাতি মহিয়ান হয়েছে আমি কিন্তু সেইখানি কথা আগুয়াই লো যাব নিম গতি মানে এই স্ট্রেস ম্যানেজমেন্টর ক্ষেত্র এই ব্রাউন সাহাব মেন সাহাবে কোয়া দুটামান কথা মানে কব বিচার আপনি শুনব ডিগড় ডর ডর গুহাটি যাত যে নামঘরলে গলে কয় নামঘর